Welcome to Real Life with Jenny. My name is Jenny Sanapitaratna. Grab your favorite drink and a snack and we will get started. Today I have English breakfast tea and a strawberry fruit strip. Woot, woot. But most of all, I have my favorite person in the whole wide world, my husband, Kevin. Kevin, what's your snack? I have lemonade and Dots pretzels. He's living wild. So I wanted to have Kevin come on. This year, I'm hoping to highlight a few just regular people and let the, let us find out what God is teaching them right now. So other than just hearing from me, we're going to try this and see how it works. So Kevin, I want you to tell me, because it's 12, 2023, what are your goals for 2023? Well, I'm keeping it simple this year, and I only have three my first goal is to expand the ministry overseas. Uh, we're excited about that, I think. Woohoo! I, we've been talking about this for 17 years and figure now is the time to go encourage some missionaries, pray on site with insight, and teach on prayer around the world. Just so that's goal number one. The second, I'm working on Spanish. Uh, don't Still working on the details of what that looks like, whether it's a certain amount of time or whether it's a uh, test I take at the end of the year, or what that would look like. Uh, but I want to eventually learn Spanish well enough to preach it. So that's the goal there. And uh, the third goal is connected to the first two. I want to do both of those with joy and also creativity. Okay, that's much better than my goal of taking naps, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. We'll see. So I would love for you to tell us what God is currently teaching you. Like what is, what are you kind of walking through right now? What is God teaching you? And you're kind of maybe something that's stretching you or, you know, I'll, I'll give you some leeway. Let's see what you have to say. Yeah, that's, that's a dangerous situation we got going on here. Um, I, Coming into a new year is I'm tendency to be a little dramatic with things. Wouldn't you agree? I would totally agree. Uh, so I am trying to learn not to be so dramatic with things. Uh, and uh, the analogy that's kind of in my head right now, uh, we are teaching our daughter to drive. Uh, I.e. I am teaching our daughter to drive. <laughs> yep. And uh, you're watching and cheering from home while I do that. Um, uh, but in Minnesota, we have lots of snow. And so as there's lots of snow, learning to drive on snow is a unique experience. And so she is uh, needing to not put the pedal to the metal right away when she uh, gets into a snow situation. She has to learn how to go slowly before she goes fast because as you gain momentum, you're going to be able to kind of steer better uh, as you get going. And I'm trying to learn that myself with the year, give myself grace as I get started, uh, go a little bit slower, and be willing to adjust as I go, have a general destination in mind, but be willing to move along as the direction uh, gets there. I think it's easier on myself and allows for better room for success. I love that earlier before the new year started, you said, and you actually wrote it on something. We have like a little whiteboard on our fridge that we kind of keep notes or write certain things down that stay there for a long period of time. And in fact, like my dentist and my eye exam are still on there from 2022 that I need to make those. And so we'll get there. But um, you wrote on the whiteboard, Bob and Weave. Can you explain a little bit about what that really means to you? I know what it means to me, um, <laughs> but what does it mean to you? Well, I put it up there. Uh, I don't even know if I spelt it correctly, by the way, uh, if we're supposed to. But uh, we're as you move out, uh, things change over the course of the year. Things are different uh, than you expect. Uh, uh, most uh, uh, battle plans don't last contact with the enemy, as we've heard elsewhere. Uh, and so as you get out there, you have to move and adjust. Uh, uh, bob and weave would be... Uh, my in my head i thinking football but i don't know if that's really a good an analogy uh, yeah you have to move out and get going and as you get going things change things uh, need to be adjusted and you uh, learn as you go 
Now, this is spur of the moment. So poor Kevin is a planner, um, as you can probably tell, and I'm not. So here we go. We'll try this. So is there something in your life that you've had to bob and weave with that has been positive or or negative because I think so many of us there are things that are thrown at us and we just duck right (laughs) Um, are there things in your life that you've had to completely make a brand new plan or you've gone down and gone okay that did not work my last podcast we talk I talked about um, that I'm so hard on myself and then I just stop doing it you know you don't go back to the gym for four days and you're like, you know what, never mind. I just won't ever go back. So are there things that you have kind of run into that um, you've had to bob and weave that have either either been successful or you've been like, yeah, I'm good? Well, going back to both of the goals uh, that I just talked about, uh, because they've been on our radar for a while. Uh, Spanish, for example, uh, I've been working on for years, kind of small pits and pieces here, and I worked with an app for a long period of time, and it really didn't get me anywhere. Uh, Como estas, I guess. Uh, but beyond that, I, I, I didn't get a lot, so I had to kind of let that go and readjust and say, we need to do something different. So the goal stayed the same, uh, but I had to bob and say, uh, this is not... Uh, or weave or whichever one it would be I had to uh, do that and then uh, kind of with the uh, overseas part we've been talking about it for a while we've taken some trips over the 17 years and I think that's kind of uh, in the idea of kind of moving out into something we've realized it's been successful when we've been overseas we've been able to encourage missionaries and and it's been a blessing there uh, and so you now we're trying to dial in what that actually looks like as we get going forward. So that'd be kind of a slow start now pushing the, the gas to the pedal. So I just want to clarify because, you know, we're married and I should probably know this, right? Um, when we're talking about going overseas and you kind of just shared a little bit um, about your vision with that, really... Um, can you share, first of all, your heart behind that? Because we have been talking about this for 17 years and even way before that, um, when we first got married, we've always had a passion for um, missionaries and our heart has always been in that space. And God has not called us to be missionaries, I would like to say yet, but <laughs> um, that's not Kevin's heart and that's okay. So can you explain a little bit about your heart there and how you feel, um, really, what kind of impact do you see happening in that area? Does that make sense? Sure. I, I mean, this is only a shorter podcast. I could talk about this for hours, but I uh, give you kind of, because uh, I was a missionary kid, I grew up uh, overseas. I've always had a heart for missions and heart for missionaries, and so I uh, that's been my thing. You have had a heart for missions and missionaries uh, since you wanted to be a missionary to the crocodiles. I think you know, you've talked about that before. But uh, uh, So that's always been on our radar. And so how could we do that f- from even the very beginning? Uh, if you want to read our bylaws of the ministry, even from the beginning, we talked about uh, the desire to be a support and an encouragement. And so now, uh, now that we've kind of gone a ways in, uh, the the basic idea is three things, and I said it briefly, but uh, be an encouragement to missionaries. Now, that may be uh, coming alongside of one missionary for a week and just spending a time with that family and giving them a break, uh, taking them somewhere and uh, being an encouragement from that standpoint, or a group of missionaries. We've been asked by a missions organization to come alongside them and get some of their missionaries together for uh, so maybe six or seven couples and you spend a week with them who they just want some refreshment and you pray with them teach them on their spiritual habits things like that Uh, so that's the encouraging missionary side of it i pray on site we uh, we believe that prayer makes a difference, uh, for kind of like, it's like the Air Force, uh, the missionaries are the p- people on the ground. Prayer is the Air Force going over the top uh, to uh, lay the groundwork. And so we've been asked before and we, uh, multiple times to, like a church plant's going to 
take place in an area to uh, walk around the town and pray and kind of lay the groundwork there before they even uh, start. Uh, so that would be pray on site with insight or going to specific places that would awaken people's ideas of what prayer can be in that location uh, or what God's done in the past at a certain location, just to awaken people's imaginations of what prayer can do. And then the final teaching on prayer, uh, God's uh, taken us around the world and we've seen favor in those places. We uh, last year went to a Bible college with uh, multiple countries there. And you think about the multiplying impact of something like that. And so this would be an opportunity to go back. We've been invited back and places like that to teach on prayer, strategic opportunities to make a difference around the world. So because Kevin is one of those people that is a big vision person, and he's always got amazing um, vision of what God is calling us to do as a ministry, I would love for you, as we're about to end, to kind of give someone a practical tip. So they are in life right now, and they've made a bunch of goals, and maybe it feels overwhelming, like God has called them overseas, or I don't know what God's called you to, but there's a big goal in mind. Is there a practical step that they can do to kind of move them one step forward? I'm not talking like here, now you need to, you know, go and write a whole thing of bylaws for your new company. Um, But what would maybe be something that they could take and go, okay, I can do this. Does that make sense? We'll see what he has to say. Well, uh, the thing that comes to my mind is break it down. Uh, uh, Whatever you're doing, if you can break it down to something that you can do five minutes, uh, two minutes, uh, if you, we look at goals kind of like climbing this mountain, and when you do that, you're looking up to the top of the mountain, it feels so overwhelming. Uh, but if you say, okay, that's 365 steps up to the top of the mountain, uh, and all I have to do this day is one step, uh, that makes it so much easier. Uh, you don't even worry about the next step. You just look down, do today's step, do the next step, and do the next step. And halfway through the year, you may look up and say, hey, I... Uh, I'm halfway up the mountain, uh, but you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you just then take the next step and the next step from there. Is that what you're looking for? That was really good. You know, you are a genius. I've said that before. I am so grateful that you came on the show today and shared who you are and what God is teaching you. I hope that this week, as you've listened to what Kevin has to say, that maybe God is bringing you on a new journey and that you will not get overwhelmed by that journey, but you can really find the next step and get excited about things that maybe you haven't been successful with in the past. And that's what I love about Kevin. I love that he is one of those people that really it's faithful, faithful, faithful. A long time ago, we heard a sermon together, and this guy just kept saying, faithful, faithful, faithful. And I remember thinking that is Kevin. He is one of those people that just doesn't let something stop him. He hits something, he bobs, he weaves. It doesn't work. He tries it in a different way. And I am so easily frustrated and give up on things. And Kevin has always stood and gone, hey, let's try it again. Let's go at it from a different angle. So this year, as you're working on your goals and what God's telling you, maybe you need to be learning how to bob and weave. Well, that is all from us today. You can find me at ChristConnection.cc slash Jen. You can also find me at Real Life with Jenny on Instagram and Facebook. I pray that as you continue to find what God has for you and the plan that you have, that you will not be overwhelmed. You will learn to bob and weave and figure out what the next step is. Have a great day.